Hey guys, Brian with Thunder Laser. Um, I wanted to show you real quick. Uh, let's go over to the control panel. Um, I'm in the diagnosis screen. Let me back out and I'll show you where that is. Um, uh, this is to check your sensors and things like that. So if you'll go hit the ZU or the menu button and then scroll down until you see diagnoses, you can hit enter. And uh, this will give you um, status indications of a lot of the I.O., uh, the sensors and things like that that are in the machine. Uh, there's X and Y tests for the end stops. What we're going to be paying attention to today is the Z limit. And uh, let me switch over to my tab cam here. And uh, if you'll notice, uh, or you may not know this, but the autofocus sensor is also your Z end stop. So if we break the sensor, you can see on the screen that you're going to get that active. Oop, let me get over here where you can see. And all I'm doing is taking something and just breaking that beam on the autofocus sensor so that we can test the function of it. And also there's a red light on it. You can test and see it here. So that's how you test that one. Now the other one is down here in the bottom, uh, right here, low. And I'm going to try to get in on that one. And if we press this one, you'll see that it does indicate. Oops. And that's what you want to check for. So when you're checking your ZN stops, you want to check that one and make sure that the correct status indicator comes on. And then you want to break this one and make sure that that shows up correctly. And that's how you test the Z-axis end stops in the diagnostic panel. All right, that's all I got. Thanks.